we got to learn what's wrong from right. Hi there, we are Soul Farm. We're in the studio. We're having a great time being part of the Motion Guest Project. Hope you have as much fun listening as we're having fun. Yep, and I like to say, while we didn't know Moshi Yes, we really learned a lot about him in performing and recording his songs. Forty days, forty nights, people we got to learn what's wrong. Forty days. There were a lot of us that were, I guess you'd call us uh, um, survivors of the Woodstock generation. You know, Moshe Yes and Oliver Shalom and Shalom Levine. Oliver Shalom. This is very painful to even say this, but. They, they were just the most amazing performers. Now the, the Jerusalem music scene had, had developed into um, a real extension of 60s energy meeting up now with Yiddish Give me some matzo for Pesach and conditor wine You know I adore a plot of Gomorrah I love every page that I read he had lots of principles and lots of beliefs and um, and they came out in all of his music and they affected me as a kid growing up. I was in my 20s at that time, which is a kid, believe it or not. I'm still a kid. But um, and he was a he was a big influence. Star David on my mind. Star David waving free. Star David I was delighted when when uh, when Gershon called and asked me to sing a song. I right away said I, I have to do uh, David Cohen's Bar Mitzvah today because it's one of the songs that I loved right away from the start, both musically and of course the message. Um, uh, and I'm so happy that other other Jewish artists are participating. As a child, Moshe Yes really made a great impression on my life. I remember going to Tzivah Sashem at the Javits Center. There was Moshe Yes singing just himself on a guitar to hundreds of children, people of all ages, and yet he was able to get everybody into it, get everybody excited. I remember one time I got called up to sing a song with him. We sang David, Melech Yisrael, Chai, Chai, Pizza Pie. He knew how to get through to everybody. The dollar bill was laughing as it flew into the air. It flew into the street. And some people gathered there Everyone was jumping up to get it in their hands Everyone was jumping up And I'm extremely excited and honored to be part of this Moshe Yes tribute album. So when I was approached to be part of this album, I was, uh, I was very humbled by it. I was also very excited to have the opportunity to work with two very dear friends, Gershon Veroba and Yerach Melzi. Separate your meat and milk utensils in your kitchen Keep each one in its own place And do you don't I think the first time I was scanning YouTube and I came across this old fuzzy clip with this guy on the stage with a guitar and a big tall man with a big beard next to him and they were bluesing up, jazzing up. Couldn't get enough of it, absolutely loved it. And I was really excited to do it. And it's been amazing working with Gershon Verobo and Yossi's wife. It's been amazing. Moses went up on Mount Sinai. Daniel made it through the line. What I took from Moshe yes was his, his uh, storytelling in uh, very, very short, concise sentences in English. Um, there's not a lot of guys who, who write like that, who, who wrote like that. Moshe Yes's music has influenced me in such a way that he paved the road for Jewish music to reach the Baal Shuvah scene, just like Reb Shlomo. And that's how I connect with my music. There ain't no Bishel in a Klish Lishi. You can drive for all eternity. There ain't no Bishel in a Klish Lishi. Personally, Moshe, yes, and uh, listening to his songs changed my life and um, inspired me to become a musician and to start writing my own music. And of course, I always try to, over the years, throw in a Moshe Yes tune at a concert and a show just because I think uh, people can appreciate it to, and can connect to the things that uh, he spoke about in his music. Moshe was a wonderful, wonderful person, a good friend, and a uh, big, big, big heart and neshama. Olam haba Olam haba God is alive and well in Jerusalem, yeah. A 
people praying three times. In my eyes, uh, Moshe S was the king of Jewish music. Uh, not to offend him or anything, but uh, no, he was. Uh, you said it in your eyes. Yeah, he was the he was the real thing. He was what music right. was all about. The music came from his heart and came from his experiences. This guy was first rate. I mean, he could, you know, he could be on the bill with James Taylor or something like that. Um, and then I remember seeing a video of Mugama on television, and uh, I just loved it. The, the, the music and the lyrics were really entwined in, in a wonderful manner and really gave over uh, a tremendous depth of feeling. I was in a, a bookstore and I saw an album and I bought it. I didn't have a very good record player at home, but I had this little Fisher Price uh, turntable. And I remember being blown away when I heard the first Nagana album. And it made such an impression on me. I really resolved at that time to try my hand at writing songs in English. It was the first time that I heard songs in English that I felt were, were right on, spot on, uh, that had an impact, that hit, hit you emotionally. They weren't uh, of the color or variety. And the music of Moshe and Shalom was, was unbelievable. When I was a little kid, maybe eight or nine years old, I started, I picked up this VHS tape and I put it in the, in the, uh, in the TV, in the um, screen, and uh, Moshe S came on. And it was a uh, bootlegged recording of him performing at, um, at, a, at a, it's called the Ivy League Torah Study Program. It was one of these uh, Baal Shuba programs up in the country. I must have watched that um, that one video. Wait, how many maybe, songs did he do? Like? It was probably about maybe 16 or 17. Oh, wow. All the hits. Must have watched that video. I don't know, maybe 500 times in my, in my childhood. Uh, my favorite piece of entertainment uh, uh, growing up after Power Rangers. Chabad of Minnesota brought out Madonna in 1981, and they recorded that concert. The, the, all the videos of the concert footage you see online. That's off of that show. Somebody had the foresight to insist that they record the video of that show. That's the greatest show that I've ever seen in my life since. But Zadie made us laugh. Zadie made us sing. And Zadie made a kiddish Friday night. How I loved him so And Zadie used to teach me wrong from right His eyes